Hello, we are creating our online resale store and in the previous session we update the home page, the WooCommerce home page by changing the font, the color of the wording and by inserting buttons and separators. So now we are still going to continue that and at this point I don't really know if we need to use DV Builder. We have shop by category here that we like. I like to see what link is here. There is no link here. Shop by category and we don't have a link. And let's go to the page here. Yeah, shop by category. The shop by category does not have a link, but cool. And here we have toy, small appliances, their categories. So shop by category could have a link or not. So I'm trying to see. And then we have the new in. So we are going to go back here and shop by category it is let's change this block let's click on it to see it is a paragraph usually it's not the way the paragraph looks like so i'll find out what that in fact i can easily do um add another block here and when i click on a heading so shop by category is a heading and this heading we have the choice to add a link there but i'm not going to do that because we already have our shop link up so we have new in new in is a heading as well new in new install let's add a new in or new arrival why not new arrival new arrivals believe that we should have s and fan favorites i like that and do we need a separator between them? I think they are a little bit um, too close to each other. So even by using a WooCommerce homepage, we don't have, you know, you can personalize it. it doesn't have to be you building it from the ground, custom, customize everything to um, to before you can call it yours. So I'm just going to bring these separators here and I'm going to click on it so that we can make it wider. I don't think we need to make it wider, do we? Let's leave a little bit like that, but let's see if I'll be able to um, in increase the padding. It's not allowing me to increase the padding around it. Transform to groups. Let's see what that will do. Okay, anyway, and then if I click on it again, but yeah, I think I like it just to be like that, but I, I feel like it gave me a little more space between the new arrival and the top. And when I go down this favorite, I like to add a separator there as well. 
and and if I click on it let's see what is asking me here show block setting okay so that's what I will want to see show block setting so if we click on this um, the up more for more options we can see that we can have the block setting here otherwise when we click on it here is giving us those options in some way as well so default style color okay advanced let's see what the advanced has down for us yeah I don't need the advanced so let's leave that to a pro IT pro so they that not set yeah, I'm not going to do that and Y line I don't need a wide and I'm just going to keep everything um let's see the color that is there is there really this color they have doesn't look like it to me though but anyway I'm going to leave it that's something I can come here and put down in case I'll oh it changed it for me it's not what I'm trying to do so now that it changed it let's see if I go back okay so I went back I don't want it too wide so I think I'm just going to keep it like that. I don't know if it's giving me more option. I'm not having that much option here. But I will click on this one here and put group. For some reason, when I click on group, it gave me it gives me more padding, more space. I like that. But this fan is I want that to be dark. So I'm going to just go to here and color setting and click on black for the fan. It's not it's not the the default. They say default. Um you know what? I'm just going to keep it like that. I don't know what the default is, but I don't think it's bad. So I'm going to turn this new arrival as well into black and just keep it default. And shop by category, I'm going to turn it into black as well. And I like it. So on sale, we'll do the same thing. Have a black. And I don't know if we'll be able to duplicate this. So we can copy it, but let's see if I can click on duplicate. Okay, so, oh no, just one. So, it's not allowing me to move it down. I can move it up, but not moving it down. I'm just going to go. I'm not going to go any further. So pretty much what I'm going to do here. Let's see if he's giving me option to. Move to. Move to but he's moving it. He's going to move the whole things. Okay. Okay, so maybe move to let's go back again and I'm just going to delete one of them. If I scroll down, I'll find remove block at the bottom. 
so we have one there that's fine here it doesn't take me much to just bring another one so separate us and I just like it like that and I think I group it right don't know what that is doing I, I like it like that and bestseller we will turn it darker color and just press enter to have a block automatically created uh, to have space and add a block and we'll add the separator click on group if I think it just give us more space in it that we can add other things within the session and that's pretty much it so now let's update our home page and see how it looks like it is down let's preview it and click on preview in a new tab Welcome to LibreOutlet.com where you will find the perfect gift whether it is small appliances, toys or electronics. Contact us. Shop now. Free shipping within the US, no minimum required. Very simple. Shop by category. New arrival. We have those lines very short. Why you make it long for us? Fan favorites on sale, best sellers. Okay, we like that. We can look at the top and yesterday we work on the top here. We have the categories on top here and the cards this menu here the primary menu we have home shop blog check out my account we have search that will be the product search widgets i would think we have product category widgets here product category we have calendar and i think that's all we put under a sidebar and at the bottom we have products categories here we have our blog we have our natural products custom design apparel store and then we have another folder we have my account contact us about us return policy shipping policy payment method this payment method i'm going to take it out of here and have a page to describe payment method that we are going to accept and log out so and that's good and now we have free shipping within the US at the bottom here as well and I think is pretty much a for the front for the home page itself and next we will see how the shop page look like and what we can do to improve it thank you so much for watching our video i'm afia v ojune libreman creators of libreman consulting llc youtube channel owners of nina soap our blog ninasoap.com our natural product store liberlabel.com our custom apparel store and liberowlet.com our resale store thank you for watching our video thank you you all that subscribe and thank you for all your comments